Okay, guys, I'm going to do something stupid. Not like I don't have enough of these diamond red deer anyway. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't so stupid. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Fox Hunter, and if you're rejoining me after my long absence, thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate it. Good news is that I got married and, uh, you know, kind of a fun but stressful life event. So all that time leading up to it, I needed to focus on that. So I stepped away for a little while and then went on my honeymoon and are just now getting back into the swing of things on the Hunter Call of the Wild. I've been working on my red deer grind. Still uh, hoping to get that uh, great one eventually. But... Um, I have also been trying the herd management technique that I've heard Scarecrow talk about quite a bit. And I'm starting to see some results where there are quite a few more level fours and smaller red deer appealing, appearing on my map. So that's always a good thing. And that should help kickstart getting more rares, more diamonds. And at least making the hunt a little more tolerable, or the grind a little more tolerable. Eh, that was a horrible shot. Anyway, so, uh, don't know if this is gonna be a diamond that we just took out. Um, it very well could be, could be a troll as well. But I have quite a few diamond red deer, and I just thought, hey, why not start off my return with a risky shot, you know? <laughs> that poor red deer fell off the cliff. Oh, you didn't walk into it? Uh. So yeah, right now I'm just kind of culling the map as I go and cleaning up as many spots as possible to open it up for lower levels to spawn in. Yep, diamond. Oh, wow. What a beauty. What a beauty. You can't get better than that. That was a glorious shot. Oh, I, I just like the shot. It was risky. I'm saving it. I'll stick it in my Red Deer Lodge. But yeah, uh, if you're enjoying these adventures with me, stick around. We'll uh, see what we can find. Ooh, legendary. And uh, he appears to me alongside mythicals on this map. There and one literally beside him. There's the other one, and there's him. Why do I feel like this rack is so much bigger than this one, and yet that's the legendary? It seems silly to me. I really hate that the mythicals are basically a dime a dozen now, and they're definitely not guaranteed to make diamond ever. No good. I mean, I would think that's a legendary rack, and that's just not. But oh well, I didn't write the coding. So, let's go ahead and we'll get these three big boys first. We'll have a double diamond day. Good. Should be good. Cross this way. Alright, here is our second legendary of the night. Oh, ah, it is a diamond. Awesome. Double diamond day, folks. What a nice return. Double diamond day. Beautiful. I have so many of these, though. I just I don't feel it's necessary to keep him. But that's awesome. That's awesome. Good return to the Hunter Call of the Wild after being absent for so long. So I'm definitely starting to see the value of the herd management method because that's my third diamond in two days. And uh, before I was trying this method out, I was not seeing anywhere near this degree of high level animals on my map. So it's definitely making the hunt more enjoyable. It's definitely making the grind more enjoyable. But <laughs> I love how they just dropped from the sky. 
I've got a lot of culling to do right here to take out some of these level sixes, but uh, we'll get that going here in a second. But yeah, I think this method's working really, really well, and um, I'm glad we've become acquainted with it. And we will get this process rolling. Oh, man. I didn't have to run away. Goodbye. I might jump over to my other tent and take care of those from that side. I really want him to come back. There we go. You gotta be so rude. Oh, come back, bro. I try for another stupid shot. I hate quartering shots like this. Ugh. Seriously? Why aren't you coming back? That's BS. Utter and complete BS. And they're all facing away from me. That's not making it easier. Or a pearl. Do I have to reset the time again? Come back, friend. Well, we'll just do that. I mean, sure, why not? At least a single lung on that, so I'm I'm good with that. Probably my third diamond. And I'm gonna go ahead and keep up the good work and building out my need zones the way I want them and if something more interesting happens I will be back all right so here's our third potential diamond in two days and it sure is Here we go again nice shot uh, at 304 yards up on a hill on a trot um, but you know cool got so many diamond red deer though I can't keep saving them I will literally have no room for anything else uh, all right on to the next area well isn't he a beauty I think I have a twin of this one Nice to see a semi-rare my map for a long absence. Right, friend. Yep, that was a good shot. We'll pile up right back there in the view. that hit home less concerned about him because I just want him off my map but that's probably one of the most beautiful eyeballs hello not bolting anyway that's probably one of the more beautiful eyeballs I think, like I said, I have his twin in my Red Deer Lodge. I have to go take a look at that. We're getting closer. No great one, I'm sure. Silver. And yep. I got our beautiful piebald mythical. Let's 
so definitely got a good shot on his lung but he does have two different racks he's a split rack and i usually prefer the one on the left to the one on the right but like i said i think i've got one that looks exactly like this in my lawn yes here we go oh no I can't remember. This one, I believe, was a mythical because he's got that mythical left hand side, but it is different. It is slightly different. But we'll go ahead. This one for this bigger boy we just got. Very nice. Yeah, you can definitely see the difference, except for that one side. It's like. It would have been cool if they were the same, because then we could be like, you just need to trade racks. <laughs> that looks awesome. Really looks cool. But also, that eyeball I just took down. Pop them up there. Just spin it out a little bit. Very cool. Very nice. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, is that real? You know, this herd management thing definitely has, uh, has something to it. Oh my gosh. He's beautiful. You know, I have an albino from a very, very early hunt on Quattro Carolinas, but this is my first time encountering a Mela red deer. Look at him. I almost don't want to shoot him. Of course, I want him for my lodge. Oh my gosh. What an elegant animal. And then we've got all these bad boys over here that I need to work on, but... Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, it would be kind of cool to take him with a bow or something fancy, but I think I'm just gonna do what I do best. Oh, I need to see him go. And he's a floater now. Oh, wow. This, this is special. I think it's taken me almost two or 3,000 kills. I haven't been keeping a close, close watch on how many I've taken since I've been doing my Great One grind, but definitely probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 2,000 to 3,000 kills to get this beautiful beast to spawn. Come here. Or do I have to go? All right. Uh, well, I can't exactly get a picture of him because he's just floating. So I'm just gonna. Whoa! Hey, come back. Him up. Dead on on the long shot though, and it's a gold. Ah! Oh, look at that. What's going on with his face? Though? Interesting. I wonder if that's. I'm sure that's a glitch, but it looks kind of like vitiligo. Wow. <laughs> it's a Mela. It's my first Mela red deer. What a great return to the Hunter Call of the Wild after such a long absence. Um, that's amazing. Of course we're going to save him and put him in the lodge. We, we can't not do that. That's amazing. Oh, beautiful. That's just beautiful. Ah, exciting. That is very exciting. So I kind of have these two posed next to each other. I thought it was kind of sweet where we had the female albino and the male albino of arching up toward each other. But I'm honestly rethinking that. I don't think there's a multi-mount for 
red deer yet, and I would love to see one, but I think I'm going to switch this one out. And we're going to flip him over, and then we're going to pose him similarly. Yeah, he's still got that thing going on on his face. But yeah, that kind of matches my uh, eternal struggle between the albino and the mela uh, whitetail that I have in the other room. So they look similar. They're not exactly the same. He's got one, he shares one antler style with this guy and then and then the opposite antlers are, are different, I think. Yeah, this one has a wonky antler set, so it's it's asymmetrical. But this one's fairly symmetrical, which is really cool for a rare color morph. Oh, wow, that just looks amazing. I feel really bad that the female can't be in this space, though, because I do have these two diamond whitetail going at it. But like I said, it looks almost exactly like these two over here, which is one of my favorite mounts. Oh, my gosh, <laughs> that is so awesome. That is so awesome that I finally got a Mela Red Deer. Holy moly. I can't wait to see what we'll get next. Anyway, y'all, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed coming on these adventures with me, please consider dropping a like and subscribing below. You can also ring the bell when new con for notifications for when new content drops and uh, decide a little later if uh, you still want to come on these adventures with me. But otherwise, I will see you in the next one. Bye!